Kanui Kia Koto, Kia ora, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, thanks for my... An official language from the official podium. Of course, we want to support people learning te reo. We think it's a fantastic language. Christopher Luxon thinks it's so fantastic. Let me just tell you this as well. We're not going to watch the press conference. I've got two clips lined up for it, but they're like four minutes each, and we're not going to be here that long. What na- This is what National is doing at the moment. National are pivoting to saying no we were talking about bonuses being played. No, we were talking about the bonuses, not about people learning today. But unfortunately, we played a clip for you last week, and it's in this news item. Mr. Luxon says at a, at a, at a media scrum, if people want to learn today, oh, they should pay for it themselves. So they're trying to spin it now to say they've only been talking about the bonuses, whereas the truth is, Mr. Luxon, he set a standard, right? We, we, we are judging him based on his words mm-hmm. that if people want to learn today, they should pay for it themselves. So let's just let this go through. He's scrapping incentives for learning it in the public service. But his own today lessons came courtesy of the taxpayer. Oh, aren't we generous, Chewy? Hey, aren't we generous? We're just flipping that money out mm. when you don't really want it. Is it hypocritical of you to take taxpayer money to learn today on Māori when you're threatening to scrap incentives for public servants who do the same? No, uh, I have a, a finite leader's budget, as do all leaders of political parties. You get to choose the, to spend that money on whatever you wish that you think would help. Uh, the government wants to remove bonuses for public servants fluent in te reo Māori. A couple of weeks back, the PM defended that policy by telling public servants to pay for their education themselves. There it is. In the real world, outside of Wellington and outside the bubble of uh, Parliament, uh, people who want to learn te reo or want to learn any other education actually pay for it themselves. Unfortunately for the taxpayer, Christopher Luxon lives inside the bubble, though he's not sure how much the taxpayer paid. You said you're going to go through every single budget line item by line item. How can you not tell us what your line item costs? Well, I'm sure we can provide it to you, but the bottom line is I don't know off the top of my head. Has the public got a good outcome for their investment in you? Can you for instance, like a good outcome? <laughs> well, as I said, you know, I found no. difficult. I think Chris Hipkins said something similar. You know, when you're learning later in life, it's actually really difficult. Oh, and that's the other thing I wanted to touch on quickly, Chewy. When you're learning later in life, it becomes really difficult. I wish I'd done it when I was younger while he's trying to, they're trying to hamper mm. primary schools to having an hour of reading, writing, and maths. Remember, I've, I've given you the numbers before. That means there's four to five hours across the rest of the week to do things like learning Māori. At a time where Mr. Luxon is going, oh, I wish I had have learned it while I was younger. So he's stopping people who are younger learning it by insisting on an hour a day of reading, writing, and arithmetic. Yet he's saying it's easier to learn when you're younger, and I wish I had have done it. Now, I've got lots more to show you, Chewy, but go for it, sir. Have a crack. Ah, oh, Christopher Luxury, man, always within arm's length of almost getting a point and just <laughs> completely fumbling it at every stage. Um, yeah, look, I, I, I do not have a problem with the leader of the government learning an official language of this country on the public on the public press. That is not a problem for me at all. I agree. Um, I, I think the leader of this country should be able to speak with a reasonable amount of fluency uh, in Māori. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, Chris Luxon has said that he's been learning te reo for a while now. Yeah, I mean, it was, he started and saying it last year. That's probably the biggest sentence I've, I've heard him say. Interesting it was today, in, wasn't in it? Those times. Yeah. Isn't it interesting? Isn't it so, interesting? I think what he was doing is going, now we've got to look at our outcomes and here's some of the outcomes you've been paying for. Ooh, it's a bit embarrassing, but you've been paying for this. Here it is.